What's up guys, it's Xenoworks here, back with another video. As you can see in the title thumbnail, we are here to give you guys my top 10 characters I want on Sparking Zero on the release of the game. You guys seem to like when I uh, made a prediction video on all 164 characters. And, you know, I got a lot of feedback, I got a lot of comments, and I, I, I liked all your guys' comments. I agreed with most of y'all's stuff, I'm gonna be honest. But one thing's for sure, for people not thinking there won't be any DLC and that there it's actually going to be a full game, I think it's kind of crazy to me. I'm going to be honest with you. We're in the year of we're in the years of video games having DLC. Xenoverse 2 still has DLC to this day. At the right, they're still planning on more DLC if I'm not mistaken. Either way, that's not the point. We're here because I'm going to give you guys my top 10 and comment down below your top 10 or Maybe that's too much. Name your top five characters you want 100% in the release of Sparking Zero. So first thing, we're going to go for kind of something predictable, but not really. I think these will be DLC, but I'm hoping, I'm, I'm praying that these are on the release of, of uh, Sparking Zero. One, Beast Gohan. Two, Orange Piccolo. I just think there will be hype enough for them to be DLC and, you know, put a little $5, $10 price tag on them. But I, but I would love for them to be in the game because we obviously, uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly from obviously Dragon Ball Super movie that he's on the release of the game. So that's going to be interesting to see how far into the movies they go. Do they go to Super Superhero? And do they even add Beast? When, or do they do like Dokkan and put Least go on first, you know? Or Ultimate uh, Piccolo. We don't know. We don't know. Like I said, I'm, I'm just guessing. All right. So we're going for three. All right. So we're gonna go for UI Goku, guys. Not UA, UI Sign Goku. I think UI Goku, like Ultra Instinct Goku, obviously. It's because I know people are like, oh, Jiren's in the game, so obviously Ultra Instinct Goku will be in the game, right? I mean, which I could see it, obviously, but I wouldn't be surprised if they do something like Fighters, because Fighters, obviously, he, he was a DLC character, but I'm expecting him to be on the release of the game. So that's why he's, uh, but I'm still hoping he's a hundred. I could see him on DLC, but that's why he's in my top 10. I hope he's on the release of Sparking Zero roster. So yeah, we'll go with that. Um, four is actually God Topo. The same thing. Obviously we see Jiren. So we're thinking Topo should have his transformation, which is his God form or his God of Destruction form. I mean, we're hoping that obviously they can save it for DLC. It, it, I think that's hype enough as well, but I'm guessing it's going to be on the release. So that's my top four so far is God Topo. I think he will be on the release of Sparking Zero. So uh, five is actually Baby Vegeta. I think Baby Vegeta deserves it. He's, he's a goaded Dragon Ball GT villain. And I think I wouldn't, like I said, I, most of these, I'm not surprised if they're DLC, but uh my top like like i said but these are my top 10 i hope are but i wouldn't be surprised that's what i'm pretty much saying is baby vegeta he's a cool character uh i'm hoping to go to gt and not make a dlc like i said um next is actually this one's like a little cr out, out there so let me know in the comments if you guys think they would add him in the game eventually i'm not saying on the release but maybe um down the line in dlc hearts from dragon ball heroes what do you guys think? I actually like his character a lot. I like his character design. I liked how, like, you know, his attacks are, like, different. It's, like, kind of, like, it's, like, it's not, like, a key blast. It's, like, spheres. Uh, I think it's super cool. His design super cool. And I always like hearts. He, he always looked like a cool slash anti-hero or whatever, right? I mean, on the conversation, but that's... I hope he's on the release, I'm going to be honest. That would make my day just because it's, like, okay... We're doing something different here, Sparking Zero. We might have some Dragon Ball Hero campaign coming in. Like, you know, a little special thing. That'd be super cool. Or some what ifs. Uh, I got a character for what if as well. We'll, we'll, we'll name him down once we get to him. Then my next one is actually Janemba. Obviously, crazy moveset he should have uh, with his particle teleporting is uh, key, like... Well, how do you say like when he throws key to one side and like it comes out like it like what is it? I, I actually don't even know. What do you guys call that when he like he he can put his hand and then it goes through like like another dimension? You know what I'm saying? I, I, don't, I actually don't even know what you call that. Like I, I'm confused, but you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and you know, all his other movesets he has pretty cool. His sword is obviously cool too. I just think obviously he should be on the release. He should be W W, but that's my top. That's that's another one. 
these are actually my next one is actually kind of a duo it's not going to be a duo unit obviously or duo character but i'm saying like they come as a duo so i'm going for mira and toa and from obviously from the xenoverse campaign i think that would be pretty cool they could do also they could release them on the roster and then they could do some type of uh different type of story not like us just playing straight to the story it could be a little different and they could be the cause of it being a little different like maybe that's how we get some what if stories it's because of them too you know that's what that's what i'm hoping and and that's why i'm hoping they're that's why i'm hoping they're in the game because i think they're cool characters and my last but not least top 10 on my top 10 list is super saiyan 3 broly he was on raging blast 2 and he was freaking he was super cool you know that boy was like 20 foot tall but though not but not only because he looks cool and obviously we're gonna get two different brolies and then including him it'll be three different brolies but the reason why i want him is because if he's on the release of the game that kind of gives me an indication that there will be what if stories in the campaign or what if characters coming in dlc or more dlc or more uh characters inside the roster on the release will be what if characters that'll be super that's super cool to me that'll be very creative and yeah and that's my list to be honest let me know your your top 10 if but if that's too much let me know your top five uh, this was xenoworks guys if you guys enjoyed remember to like and subscribe it was my birthday a couple days ago so if you guys can give me a subscribe I, I, I really appreciate it and you know once the game releases we'll be doing some live streams we'll be doing all videos on spark and zero campaign pvp uh, showing all the characters but the move set um, doing some giveaways I'm actually gonna do a giveaway a couple giveaways for spark and zero just because uh, everybody should des everybody deserves to play spark and zero anyway this is Xenoworks, and I'll catch y'all in the next video